Second strike. No, Third time. <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to my channel i am back and i'm back with one of you guys's favorite videos it is a client makeup tutorial this time i was doing my niece's makeup for her quinceanera this was actually the day of her quinceanera so it was super early it was like six in the morning and we were just you know they were just making her look like a princess uh and yeah to start this makeup um i'm starting off with the eyebrows i am using the anastasia deep brow in the color dark brown uh, i like to fill in the eyebrows uh first i outline the top of the eyebrow and then the bottom of the eyebrow and then i just add more product to the brush and just fill in the eyebrow I usually try not to put any product in the beginning of the eyebrow because I just like to do that till the end because I don't add any more product to the brush. I just use whatever product is left over from um, doing her eyebrows and that, that just makes them look more natural. Moving on, I am taking the Shade Tip Concealer in the color Medium and um, I'm here, I'm just cleaning out her eyebrows a little bit but moving on i am using my morphe e11 it's my favorite brush to um basically just clean out the eyebrows uh i feel like it just makes like really straight lines and it makes the eyebrows look amazing uh and i'm also using the same concealer as a base for the eyeshadows and I'm just using the same brush uh, just to apply the concealer all over the eyelid. Uh, and then uh, after I do that, I'm just going to take my finger and blend out that concealer. And I'm just using Patty Motions. All right, moving on to eyeshadow. I'm taking My Little Pony eyeshadow palette from Pure Cosmetics. And I'm taking this beautiful purple shade in the color Magic. And I'm placing this color all over the crease using a Morphe E27. And I'm just using swiping motions. And I'm just going back and just making the color a little bit more intense. Next, I'm taking the Morphe 35B and I'm using this dark purple shade and I'm just placing the color right below where I placed the previous color just to make the eyeshadow a little bit more intense. And again, I'm just using swiping motions just to blend both of the colors together so there won't be like any harsh lines in between the colors and I'm just adding more color just to make the color more intense um, because we are going for a cut crease so i really want the color to pop and here i'm just showing you guys how i blend all the eyeshadows i basically just go back and forth with all the brushes i use um, i use the morphe e27 but i have different ones for each color and i just basically go back and forth with each color just to blend the colors nicely together All right, using the same palette, I am taking the darkest purple shade and I'm just placing this color right below where I applied the previous shades. And I'm just focusing this um, right where I'm going to create the cut crease just to make the cut crease a little bit more intense. Time to do the cut crease. Now I'm taking the Morphe M170 and the Shade Tip Concealer in the color Light Sand. I love using this Morphe brush. It's super tiny and I feel like it just gives me the control of how to do my cut crease. So I love using this brush. I'm also using a lighter concealer because I want the eyeshadow to pop even more. And as you guys can see, I love taking my time when I create the cut crease. I just feel like taking my time just make them look so much better. Anyways, I got the new iPhone and I don't know if you guys can see the quality. Is there a difference or no? And also, I receive a lot of requests to do a video on how I film my videos using a phone or in this case, my iPhone. If you guys would like to see a video like that, like explaining on how i set up everything in my iphone and everything else just let me know in the comments below and i would definitely do a video for you guys 
And I'm going back to the Pure Cosmetics My Little Pony palette. And I'm taking this beautiful mint eyeshadow in the color Princess Sky Star. And I'm just going to place this color in half of the cut crease. Uh, because I'm going to go back right here and use the purple shade from the Morphe 35B. And just place it on the outer corner of the cut crease. Because it was only supposed to be a half cut crease but I forgot about it. So here I'm just fixing it up and I'm just adding more of the purple eyeshadow and I'm just blending it. And honestly having the concealer under it just make the purple look 10 times better. Like it looks super bright and beautiful. I love it. Anyways, now I'm taking the BH Cosmetics uh, foil eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this turquoise color. The reason why I applied the previous color under it is because uh, I wanted a shade that wasn't too bright and I feel like mixing both colors just made the perfect shade. And finally, for the best part, I am using this chunky glitter from Candeo Love and I'm also using the NYX uh, glitter primer. And I just like to apply a little bit of the NYX primer all over where I'm placing the glitter. I'm placing the glitter in between where the blue and the purple meets. I feel like that was like the perfect spot to put the glitter. Uh, and I'm using the back of the brush uh, to place the glitter. I feel like doing that just gave me more control of where to place the glitter. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm using this gel eyeliner and I just added uh, one drop of the Inglot uh, drops. So she didn't want a wing eyeliner and I just decided to line her eyes just because um, I didn't want the fake eyelashes to look weird on her eyes. So yeah, it was pretty simple. And here I'm just adding some mascara and moving on to her face. I'm just cleaning up any fallout from her eyeshadows and I'm just using makeup remover and that's pretty much it now moving on to primer i am using the benefit professional and i'm applying this all over her face i like using my fingers because i feel like it just blends the primer way better uh, for foundation i'm using the mac studio fix fluid i'm using two shades i'm using the nc40 and the nc45 for concealer, I'm using three shades. I'm using medium, tan sand, and rich. So I'm mixing medium and tan sand to place that under her eyes and on the bridge of her nose. And I'm using the color rich to add a little contour. And I'm just using the beauty blender just to blend the concealers. To set my concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm just placing this powder under her eyes and on the bridge of her nose. Now moving on to her bottom eyelash, I am using the purple shade from the Morphe 35B and I'm just blending that all under her bottom eyelash. Moving on to bronzer, I am using the MAC Give Me Sun and I'm just applying that on her cheeks and also on her forehead just to bring a little bit of color back into her face. And here I'm just applying a little bit more of the translucent powder and I'm just gonna dust off all the rest of the powder. And time for the falsies. I actually decided to add two sets of eyelashes, so one on top of another one to just make her eyelashes more dramatic and just make her eye look way better for blush i am using the mac x patrick star in take me home and i'm just applying this on her cheeks now i'm using the nyx matte liquid lipstick and i'm just gonna be hiding any eyelash glue just to make the eyelashes look way better And here I'm just giving her a little nose job and using the beauty blender just to blend it out. And I'm using the Smashbox Primer Water. And this is the beautiful shade. I feel like it just made the eye look so much better. I'm using the ColourPop uh, Super Shock Eyeshadow. I think that's how they're called. In the color Sunbeam. And I'm just using that in her tear duct. Now I'm applying some mascara on her bottom eyelashes. And for highlighter, I'm using the MAC Old Darling. Beautiful. 
And oh my god, you guys need to watch the ending of the video. It's basically behind the scenes. And you guys are gonna laugh a little bit. It was super fun. <laughs> and now for lips, I am using the MAC lip liner in the color spice and i'm using this ColourPop lip gloss i think it was from the shayla uh, collection and yeah she wanted just a glossy lip and i think it turned out to look so beautiful what do you guys think pretty right All right, guys, so this is the final look. This is the makeup I did for my beautiful niece on her special day, on her quinceanera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more videos like that. I also recorded my mom's makeover. If you guys would like to see that video, let me know in the comments below, and I will have it up hopefully soon. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to watch the ending of the video and just leave me a comment down below. Thank you. Bye. I'm doing the car okay. Don't breathe, don't move, don't do nothing. Does it look ugly? No, this is <laughs> nice. Ugly? No, I say ugly like yeah. that. You have do an I, accent. I hell I do. <laughs> I don't have an accent. We all do. You do too. But yours is Mine's funny. Is bad. <laughs> Mine different. is cool as shit. That's what people <laughs> do. <laughs> mm. I was just sitting down like My eyes look. Oh my god! Yes. Here, I'll take a picture. Let's go. Let's go. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me.